What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. Today is a very special day. Drikus, if y'all remember him from Africa, he is here today and he is coming to hunt here. We went to his place and hunted there. So today he's going after a black buck. He's never shot one and he's always wanted one. So um, he's been here for a few days and uh, it's time to go put him on a black buck. So we're gonna do a little spot and stock action, safari style, African style. Um, ride around until we find one and then uh, get out and spot and stalk and shoot off sticks. So we're gonna see if we can get it done. Leave it in the comments if y'all want to do a trip to Africa. If it is your dream to go to Africa or you're thinking about going to Africa in the next year or two, um, leave it in the comments. I'd like to know how many of y'all would actually like to go to Africa. Um, we might be working on something here. So uh, leave that in the comments and uh, let's get to hunting. Good job, Drikus. Thank you. First black buck ever. Yeah, that was awesome. He's a giant. Yeah, that was a very nice one. As y'all can tell, Drikus has been on thousands and thousands of hunts. So his excitement level is more inside than it is <laughs> out. It's not like a first time hunter. He's done this a lot, but his first black buck ever, and this is a that huge is a black buck. Big black buck. Yeah, big one. Have you ever eaten black buck? No, not yet. What are we going to do today? Yeah, it's good. He's yeah, that's huge. A huge. And it's an old one as well. Yep. Right? He's been out here forever. Jeez, look at the steps worn off. He's real narrow. I thought he was a little wider than that, but he's narrow and super, super tall. That's exactly what I wanted. Yep. That was awesome. Look at this broom dove, huh? Old, old. Yeah, he's bucket. really old. Thank you guys very much. It was awesome. Yep. Eh? Thank you. One, two, three. There he goes. That'll be fine just like that. Off to the skinning shed. Yep. I'm the skinner. Yeah.
Well, we got the black book all cleaned up. He is hanging, taking the head to the taxidermist, and we're gonna figure out how we can get it shipped over to Africa so he can get it mounted there. Um, probably the same process as Africa to here. Just salt the hides and uh, boil the heads and then ship them in a container. We're gonna take this black buck to the processor, but I'm gonna cut some back strap out and uh, do a little dish tonight. We're going hog hunting tonight, so stay tuned for that next video. Um, but I'm gonna bring Drinkus some black buck back strap because he has an event he has to go to, so he's not gonna be able to eat dinner with us. But take some back strap and uh, we'll come up with some kind of dish for tonight and uh, see you in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm back at the house. Unfortunately, um, Drikus had to go on another trip and I took too long to cook the food. So we're doing a simple recipe today. Um, I had it the other night and it was absolutely amazing. This is a piece of that back strap um, out of the black buck. I already took the silver skin off. We got some balsamic vinaigrette, um, a few pieces of cheese, and an onion. So what you're gonna do is slice this meat as thin as you can, um, long ways, so that you can roll it up. So that is, that's pretty good right there. You can see it's kinda about the same thickness all the way through. Now we're gonna do this um, until it is down to nothing and then I'll show you the next step. So you do not have to do this, but um, I'm gonna take a meat tenderizer and just tenderize it a little bit. Um, it's already thin enough to where it, it's gonna break down pretty good on its own. But we'll just tenderize it just a little bit. Especially these little thicker pieces. If you've ever tried to thinly slice meat off of a slab of meat like that, you know it's hard to get even pieces of meat. All right, so that's tenderized. Now, we'll take our onion. Cut our onion down. You want some semi-thick pieces. Cut that in half right there. Now you'll take these pieces and kind of break them in half and lay them in there um, with the cheese. Then we'll take our cheese, slice that down the middle, and uh, you can actually slice this four ways. You don't need a whole whole lot of cheese, um, but you can put as much as you want. But I think that this goes really well. Cheese, onions, and balsamic vinaigrette. So now we'll take this piece of meat, put our cheese in there like that, take a few pieces of onion, and then we'll just wrap it up, make a little roll up, just like that and that will go on the grill. We'll season this with some uh, Critter Glitter Red and uh, she'll be ready to go on the grill. So we will take our Critter Glitter Red and uh, dust it off. I always say dust and I normally like put a lot of seasoning on so I need to come up with a new word. Y'all leave in the comments what I should call it. We'll flip these over, make sure we get seasoning. Some of these smaller ones you have to stick a toothpick in but the other ones can hold their hold their weight on the grill it's kind of like a popper but at the same time it's not really a popper but i guess it is a popper i don't know y'all leave it in the comments so we'll roll these over season them up and uh for the final touch we will put a little bit of balsamic on them and whenever we take them off the grill we'll brush some of this on there and uh, that'll give them that last little coating of flavor but the traeger's fired up it's hot so i'm gonna go put these on and i will see you when they're done so that's the finished product i just took it off the grill i cut one i kind of overcooked a few of these these bigger ones are cooked perfect but drinkus this is for you this is your black book mm, so good that balsamic vinaigrette really makes this, I don't know, it gives it like a sweet flavor. Um, that is super good. Out of Black Buck, I love Black Buck. I'm gonna give it an 8.4. These little meat roll-ups are amazing. 
and uh, they're really easy to do and that'd be great for your kids it looks cool and it's fun for them too so i'm gonna give that 8.4 um that is really good you can do this with white tail i'm sure you could do it with pork um back strap, something like that but i hope you guys enjoy this video huge shout out to drikus um we will be seeing him in the future in africa so like i said in the beginning of the video y'all comment below how many of you would actually like to go to africa um, or are planning a trip to Africa in the next year or two. Leave that in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.